Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create forget password and reset password screens in Flutter. Okay, our application is running. This is the onboarding screen we created earlier and we have already done with the login screen, sign up screen and in the previous tutorial we learned when the user is going to click on this create account, this verify email address and when the email is going to be verified, this success screen will be appear to the user and when user is going to click on this continue button, he will be redirected to the login. So we are going to reuse that success screen as a reset password screen. So let's quickly click on this forget password. Okay, and here user is going to enter his email and when user is going to click on the submit button, the password reset email will be sent and based on that email firebase will show a pop-up in which user can easily reset his email and once the email has been verified user will click on this done button to go to the login screen so without wasting time let's get started okay as you know we are creating Flutter e-commerce application and we have completed our section 1 and we are inside our section 2 and this is the last video of section 2 in this we have already completed all the design related to the login screen and if you are interested to get the complete code you can get the code from the description below or you can get it from the codingwithtea.com okay, So without wasting time let's get started Open Android Studio and we are inside our project we created for our e-commerce application and you can see previously we have already designed this verify email, sign up screens, sign up form etc. So this time we are not going to talk about the sign up. Okay Nera you created a forget password and reset password files inside a folder which is password configuration. So first of all let's talk about the forget password in here it's a simple stateless class scaffold with an empty app bar and just to add an equal space from all the sides I have added padding with a default space which is 24 if you are new you don't know what is t sizes class and what is created over here in the constants I suggest you to watch the previous videos then as we have to align all the elements vertical from top to bottom so we have to use the column property and in here you can see we first have to add headings text field and submit button in the text field we are going to get the user email based on that email we are going to reset user's password so first of all let's create headings in here i added two text the first one is t text which is forget password title which is already mentioned inside our text strings let me show you again it is inside the constants and for the second it is forget password subtitle and for the themes we use a style with a text theme which is headline medium and for the second one which is a label medium so once we have declared two headings it will work uh, for both light and dark modes because we are using headline medium and label which is already defined inside our themes text theme and to add further space next to the theme you can see i have given a default size which is space between sections but multiply by two which will add it extra space between text field and text to create a text field we will just use text form field property in the decoration I'm going to use the input decoration property and inside the input decoration let's add a label text ttext.email and as a prefix icon I'm going to use the icon property of direct right control alt l to align this icons x package is already being used in the pubspec.yml file let's add a constant over here and one more thing go to the login screen inside the login form we have created remember me and forget password for the forget password when this button is going to be clicked we want to redirect our user to forget password screen using get.2 add a constant and make sure it should be in the function and then get.2 again requires a function and then we are going to call our next screen let me run the application okay so our application is running let's go to login so when we are going to click on this forget password you can see we have a text back arrow of the app bar and we have a text field now after this text field we want to create a button go to the forget password screen and inside the buttons we first have to add a space of the size box I'll use elevated button on press is currently null but it will be redirect to the reset password screen and as a child use the text property add constant at the start and to make this button full width we have to wrap this button with the size box widget press alt enter and down below you can see we have a size box widget at the start use the width property and to make it full width use double dot infinity let's save the code and you can see we have full width button okay so far our forget password is completed but when we are going to click on this forget password button we should redirect to the reset screen or the reset password screen 
Okay, use the same way which is the get x way to move to the next screen. We are using get.2 and use the reset password. If you don't want to let the user to come back to this screen, so you can simply use get dot off, which means that it is not going to keep the instance of this forget password screen when user is going to go to the reset password and click the back button, he will be redirected directly to the login screen inside of this forget password screen. So it's all up to your choice. Control Alt L and let's save the code. Click on this submit screen and you can see we are redirected to the reset password screen we have created over here. It also contains a simple app bar, single child scroll view, padding, which is the default padding and again a column which is going to require some image, title, subtitle and buttons. So first of all, let's talk about the app bar. We don't want an app bar with a back arrow over here. So we'll use automatically imply leading to false to remove the default back arrow, save the code and back arrow is gone. Next to create a cross icon on the right side, we are going to use actions and in the actions we are going to create icons button on press will simply get us to the back screen get dot back and as an icon use the cupertino icons dot clear which is a cross sign okay we have to add or wrap this get dot back in a function so for a single line function we can use the fat arrows let's save the code and you can see we have a cross sign right on the right side Control Alt L. Okay, now we have the padding aligned in the column. We are going to create an image, title, and subtitle. So let me walk you through to the common widgets in the widgets success screen. If you remember that we have a design which is scaffold, which contains padding, a column with an image, title, subtitle, and buttons. And it is also asking us to provide this image, title, subtitle, and on press as we like. Right, so this means that we can simply use this as well if you want to use. But on the other hand, we also require reset button, which is an add on button. You cannot see that over here. So we can simply copy this image, which we have already created in the previous video, which is an image tag, asset image, and image will be provided. Then, as a width, we are going to use the 60% of the width, which is the screen width. You can simply call media query dot of context and you have to provide the context over here. Then size dot width is going to return the width of the screen. And then we are going to add some space, which is a space between sections, which is 32. Then we have a title and subtitle with the same headline medium and label medium. And both title contains space between items. And after the text, we have space between sections space, which is an extra space. And then at the bottom, we have a simple button. So let me just simply copy these three things go to reset password and in here we are going to paste it right over here okay in here as an image we have to pass delivered email illustration you can pass any image we have already declared all these images in the t images class and let me just show you over here in the constant utils you can see we have image strings dot dot and this class is directly linked to the assets which we have already added at the top in the images in the animations we copy this path and paste it over here and now we can easily call t images dot because these are static so we can directly call them okay we have to remove this constant and add constant over here and for the t helper function let me just show you this class as well this is a simple t helper function class and all the functions use this static keyword so that's why we can easily call t helper functions dot screen width and you hover over it you can see it's returning double property to us so we can easily multiply it with a 0.6 to get the 60% of the width. Then as a title, we have already added change your password title in the text strings and change your password subtitle for the second one. So it's again a text class already defined in the constants down below here. So every variable is a static. So we can simply define everything over here and we are using these variables. And then for the button, we are going to use the continue instead of continue we can call ttext dot done let's save the code and you can see we have an image title subtitle and a button which is saying done but we can again create another button so let me just add space over here and after this space we are going to copy this button paste it change this elevated button to text button and instead of done we are going to call it recent email let's save the code and you can see we have reset email button created down below the done button when user is going to click on this cross sign he will be redirected to back to the login go to the forget password click on this and recent email is going to resend that email again to the user so this is what we are going to achieve if you have any question or if you want me to 
go in more details uh, talk about everything again and again you can ask me down below in the comments once again thank you for watching i hope you learned something new if you learned something new please like the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about the all upcoming videos thank you for watching take care allah hafiz